In this video, we will talk about how to fit our data and as I look to the data, then it seems like an exponential decay. So I will select the data and then I will go to the fitting serve so analysis and then I go to fittings and inside fittings the non-linear fit and I open the dialog. So the dialog box appear. I have discussed all these parameters in the previous video. So here I will just go to origin functions and here I select the exponential decay. And as I select this one, I get a preview here and I just iterate it once and then some times and then I click this one is I see that the fitting is going well so I can click here to fit the data until it is converged so just click here and it says that it has converged that the chi-square value has reached uh, exponential minus 9 so here the data is here and it is having a very good fit so I click OK and now the parameters will appear and here the parameter says that the data is fitted with 0.967 so although it is acceptable because here some of the points are going up and some are going down it is acceptable however we can improve this one by selecting a double decay plot here so select this one and just increase its length its width here and make it let's say blue and okay and this is with one exponential decay it is here exponential decay one fit and i can select the data and i can go to double decay fit as well so i will go to the non-linear fit and here with open dialog i can select inside the origin functions exponential decay 2 exponential decay 2 means let me show you the difference between the two if i select exponential decay 1 then i can go to the sample curve it is like this and the formula is like this that y equals y naught and this is just exponential decay a1 and if i go to exponential decay 2 then it will be the summation of two exponential decays and two exponential decays will fit it much accurately so i am going to exponential decay 2 and then i click here here and i click fit until converge as it is going well so it has done the iterations and now i can see okay and now i can see that the fit has improved a lot and it is no point triple nine so it's a very good fit let me remove this one and increase the size of this fit so that it is more visible here now you can see that the double tk plot is very perfectly fitting the data point triple nine we can see the parameters here point triple nine is a very good value for the fitting so this way we can fit our data with exponential function whether it's ticking or growing thank you for watching the video